Ladies and gentlemen, Papa Boris here, playing some more 7 billion humans. We have a fun little puzzle here called Number Royale. The idea is that each worker has to pick up one of these random cubes, which generates a random number from 0 to 99, and then you want everyone who is not the highest cube to die in this hole. And uh, this is one of those cases where I'm going to go on a little bit of a journey with you as opposed to just showing you the solution, which I know is maybe not your cup of tea. And if so, feel free to go somewhere else to find the solution to this puzzle. But I, I like to sometimes do a more of a narrative for these videos. Anyway, the first thing I did was I said, okay, so everybody pick up your cube and step up to the edge of the pit. And then if your cube is less than what's to your left, or if your cube is less than what's to your right, then uh, just die. And I was like, well, that's easy. Uh, this must be one of those warm up puzzles. But watch what happens if you do this. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oops, let me show that one more time. Oh, that, no, no. <coughs> pause. Because what happens is people who are greater than the person to their left or to the right won't move. And they have no way of finding out that somewhere further down the line, someone has a much bigger number. Like the 86 was the big dog over here, but uh, it's smaller than this 98. So that was kind of an embarrassing moment I had privately. So what you have to do is you have to have people moving to the right so that they can bump into potentially people who have bigger numbers, or left I suppose also works, uh, and then gradually make their way down to the hole. So what we do is as follows. We first of all pick up the thing. And then if your thing is less than what's to your left or to your right, then you step down and we want everybody to also step to the right. Left works equally well and then you jump to the top. So what this is gonna make people do is step down if their neighbor is bigger and then step to the right and then repeat the process. Now this also doesn't work because what eventually happens is you create a log jam. At some point there are gonna be people who actually can't step to the right and since and the way this game works is that if someone is unable to execute a command, they just essentially, like you can see here, they wait on that command until they can execute it. This person wants to step down, but can't. Like she's next to the 99, but she can't step down because there's a 95 here. And this person can't step down because she's not even trying to, because she doesn't see that there's a 97 above her. And so then we get stuck. And so here we can use a trick, which is one of my favorite tricks, increasingly ridiculous, long, if statements, we're going to say, okay, if you're smaller than the person above you, can you please do that? Thank you. Or you're smaller than the person below you. This is still technically one command. If you're smaller than anybody next to you, then you step down. So this increases the odds of people being able to realize that someone next to them is big and prevent these log jams from happening. But the problem is that even with this, you still end up creating weird log jams like this because people are not able to execute the commands that they want to execute. Um, so we can add one more thing, which is to say, okay, let's make it just in any direction that could possibly happen. If the person to your um, upper left is bigger, you know, then go down. If the person to your lower left is bigger, like if there's anyone near you, and I'm not even sure it's like mathematically possible, but just in case, we're gonna say like, if anyone next to you in any one of the cardinal directions is bigger, then, you know, step the hell down. This is all eight possibilities. So we try this, and now everybody's checking every single direction. So it's really likely that they find someone who's bigger than them, and it helps. But the problem is sometimes do these random log jams that happen, like you can get a spacing between someone smaller and someone bigger, and you end up with some issues that way. So the last little thing that we wanna do, and this obviates the need for all of these checks, I think you only need the first five, if I'm not mistaken, um, is just have everybody step down once. If everybody's closer to the hole to begin with, the small numbers fall off sooner. And I believe, if I remember correctly, and if I did my prep for the video correctly, that this fixes the problems. So now everybody but the 79 rolls off and we win. Which is exactly six commands. And oh, does it actually succeed at the time? 
Nice. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that journey. I'll see you again next time. Take care.